Are you looking to sell your RV? We're gonna give you nine tips, quick tips, on how to sell your RV fast and for top dollar. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below and hit the notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. Number one, the question's gonna be traded in versus selling on your own. Now, there's advantages and disadvantages to each. Trading in, you go to a dealership, you trade it in, they'll give you the money right away toward whatever you're gonna purchase. What's the advantage of that? You get the money right away. Also, the dealership, that money will, they'll take care of uh, paying off the bank, you know, getting the tiling work, all that stuff they'll take care of. What's some big disadvantages? Well, the big, first big disadvantage is that you're gonna get way less trading in your RV than you are selling it. Secondly, you're gonna limit yourself to what that dealership has in stock, right? So a dealership is not gonna take your trade in for a purchase like somewhere else. You're gonna to have to purchase from them. So that's a big disadvantage. We would recommend, if possible, to sell the RV on your own. Now, we have some experience with this. Uh, our last trailer we sold, uh, we were offered uh, about $8,000 less for trade-in, and we were able to sell it within two weeks. Why did we do this? Well, a couple of things. If you're able to pay off that RV prior, have the title in hand, that is a huge advantage. If I'm looking for an RV, if I'm looking for a used car, whatever it may be, if title's not in hand, I'm going right past it. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one that's doing that. So if you're able to financially do it, have that RV paid off title in hand before you look to upgrade. So guys, make sure you stay till the end because every one of these tips is really important. And we put every one of these to use when we sold our RV and we sold it fast. So number two is gonna be write a really good ad and show very good pictures, clear pictures. So in the ad, you wanna make sure that you are very, very descriptive about every single thing on the RV, right? Just as if you're selling a brand new RV, if you're a salesman, people wanna know exactly what they're getting, so be very, very descriptive. Also, with the pictures, in terms of pictures, a lot of times you'll see pictures online where people are selling their RVs and they're they're blurry or there's there's junk all around the, you know, in the rooms. So when you take those pictures, impeccable cleanliness all right so put all the you know the clutter away make sure it's nice and neat the lighting's good and that the picture is really clear so people can truly see what they're getting so number three guys you're going to want to price that rv right you want it to be competitive right it doesn't really matter what you think that rv is worth it's only worth what somebody's going to pay for it so there's a couple of ways you can do this um, you have the nada guides right that's going to give you a nice uh, general idea of what that RV is worth. Now understand, if you sell it privately, you get more money than if you trade it in at a dealership. We discussed that in number one. But what I would also do is go on to like maybe RV Trader or some of these other big uh, places where you can sell RVs, put in your similar RV, you know, similar, the same uh, model make mileage and see what they're going for. If you were priced $30,000 above what everything else is going for, it doesn't matter what you think your RV is worth. You're not going to get it. So I would suggest see what the average price is, see what the uh, NADA price is, price it just below that. And you may actually get more calls and you may actually get more than uh, what you think you, what you actually want. So there's number three, price it right. Number four, guys, clean the RV. Take out all this sh that you have in there that you never use, get rid of it. Nobody wants to see clutter. Uh, if your RV, if you don't wash it, you can't wash it, get it professionally detailed. It may cost you three, four hundred, five hundred dollars, whatever, but I promise you, if that RV looks clean, the roof is clean, the seals are nice, everything looks presentable, people are gonna look at it. You're gonna get much more traffic looking at it. So it's really important, guys. Appearance is everything. First impressions are everything. Number four, clean it out, clean the RV. Number five is gonna be sell it at the right time. Selling an RV, if you live in, in New Jersey, if we put up an RV in January, it's probably not gonna do as well as if we did it closer to camping season, right? There's snow on the ground, people are not gonna to wanna to be 
purchasing an RV then. Holidays is another time that we would avoid. We didn't do that. Um, so putting it at times that you know people are getting ready to camp. March, moving through the spring is a really good time to sell. Also, if you put it at a time that people are not likely to buy, they know it's been sitting a while and you may get people really trying to lowball you. So putting it at the right time where people are ready to buy is really important. Number six, guys, be honest with your sale, okay? In the description, if there's any issues that there has to be addressed, if there was a leak, say it, right? Uh, if it was a smoker in there, say it. If it needs tires, say it. Because what's gonna happen is when a person comes to see it, they're gonna find this out anyway, right? Like if you haven't changed the oil in three years, it's probably not a good idea to say like, you know, meticulous maintained because they're gonna call you out on your BS, okay? So be honest about everything. People will appreciate that. If I catch somebody in line, I'm gonna buy an RV and they say, you know, the tires are great and I look at them and I know the tires are no good. My assumption is there's a lot more things that they're not telling me. I'm walking away from that. So be honest when you list your RV. So number seven is don't change much. So if you at any point are planning on selling your RV, if there's any chance, you wanna keep it the way it is. So you wanna keep the cabinets, the furniture. People are going to wanna to purchase an RV as it would come from the factory. So, you know, it's great if people wanna update and, and make things their own, that's fine. But just knowing that when it is time to sell, it will devalue the RV. So keep things the way they are as close to possible in terms of selling your RV. Number eight guys, and this is kind of on the flip side of what MJ just said, if you're gonna make upgrades, make upgrades that are kind of universally uh, accepted, right? So like F53 chassis, it is, I mean, the forums are just loaded. What are the upgrades that almost everybody does? Sumo springs, steering stabilizer, rear track bar, you know, suspension upgrades. Something like that, while it may not add value, I may not get more money because I added that, it certainly won't hurt the value. So just be careful on the upgrades you do. Do upgrades that are functional versus more personalized, okay? So number eight, if you're gonna do upgrades, do ones that are gonna actually make your rig more attractive. And number nine is keep good maintenance records. So we keep everything, all right? This is the one area that Izzy does like to hoard. So all of our receipts, make sure you have all the original manuals for everything, the appliances, everything. All the records, dates of, of when things were done, oil changes, you name it. Keep those records because people are gonna really appreciate that to know that what they're getting is has been kept up. For us, when we go to sell ours, we know we're not gonna have a problem because everything we do is documented here, so it won't be a problem. But for the everyday, um, owner who doesn't have a YouTube channel, this is something that's really important. Keep that, people will really appreciate it. So we hope you enjoyed that, guys. Those are nine tips to selling your RV fast and for top dollar. So if you know anybody that's looking to sell, feel free to share this video with them. Also, guys, in the comments below, if you've sold an RV and you have some different techniques that you use, feel free to share that with us because we'll certainly use that when we mm -hmm. go to sell our RV. And to the left of us, we are gonna link our RV DIYs as well as our RV essential upgrade playlist. So for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.